It's one of the most anticipated movies of the fall, the Joker sequel, and it co-stars Lady Gaga. Fans have been waiting over two years to see the international superstar in the role, and I recently had the chance to speak to Gaga in L.A. about playing the character of a lifetime. I got the sneaking suspicion that we're not giving the people what they want. It's okay, baby. Let's give the people what they want. You will push the boundaries for your art, and I mean that in the most complimentary way. How do you feel that this role helped you, you know, push your boundaries, whether it be emotionally or creative in this role? It's so interesting. I think, like, playing a, a broken woman or, like, a strung-out woman has been kind of a part of the process for me for a long time. And Lee was kind of the epitome to me of so many of the women I've played in my life already. But it was special and unique to this film and this story that I think the, the challenge in making Lee was I just, I wanted her to be real. And I wanted her to be complicated and complex and I wanted her to do things that were bad and things that were good and I wanted her to be um, mean and funny. It, there was a challenge in celebrating women that feel broken and not fetishizing it, but um, just allowing it to be real and hopefully creating something that a woman could go to the theater and watch and go, you know what, I can see some of myself in her. Working with her, bringing her into this film, uh, was there anything you know that you learned about her that you didn't know before? You know, that's a really good question. and and. I would say I was surprised, and this is going to sound weird because it's like, well, why would you cast her? But I was most nervous about would she have access to vulnerability. It's a very different thing to be a big actor than to be a big superstar, right? So she's on another level of even some of the biggest actors we could name. So the thing I was most surprised by was that she had a direct line to vulnerability that you don't think she would have because why would she? She's her. Alongside the movie, Lady Gaga released a companion album called Harley Quinn, which features a number of tracks from the film. For City News, I'm Lindsay Dunn.